amazing, beautiful people, and welcome back to another Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood reaction video. What have we got? Like twenty something episodes left. How? 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 How have we got to this point? How has it blinked by for anyone else? We're on episode forty-two today. Man, I have no idea how this show is going to end. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood has shown us that it can be incredibly dark, light-hearted, fun, literally ticking off all the boxes boxes of the spectrum. So I don't really know if the show is going to have a happy ending, a dark ending. Are they going to get their bodies back? Is it going to be something else? You don't know. You don't know with this anime, which is so surprising. So, I'm going to stop talking. Let's find out. Press that subscribe button if you're new to this channel. Let's jump into my first time every reaction to Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood, episode 42. Look at this. He mentions that phrase oh. again here. Yet another term for gold. It's got to be some kind of pattern. What are you trying to do? We believe there's a chance these notes were written in code. You think so? Alchemists are typically very protective of their research and methods. They bury the meaning of their notes beneath a layer of metaphor and allegory. But these are almost straightforward. There's something else going on. We notice that he uses several different terms for gold and immortality across various passages. So we're checking to see if they're connected. And you think that could be the code? We're hoping so. Uh, huh? Where am I? Oh yeah, I forgot. I, I was literally just sitting here like, what the hell does Owl look like that? And then I've just realized it's because his, his soul was pulled away, wasn't it, the last episode. Completely forgot about that. Ow! Sorry, I didn't mean to freak you out like that. So where are we? And why am I in pieces? The last episode, I said, I wonder where the voice comes from. I think we just got the answer. A lot of you said you think it comes from the seal. Some people said... I don't remember if... The only thing that's going to be an issue with that is if there's a previous episode where the head is knocked off and the voice comes from the head. But I don't remember if that's happened. I'm not sure. And that's basically it. <clears throat> As for why you're in pieces, you were too heavy to carry home, so we had to dismantle you. Huh. Oh, that makes sense. It does make sense. Sorry to put you guys out like that. Has this ever happened to you before? Just once, when I was trying to find you guys. Well then, I can't imagine it's very comfortable being scattered about like that. Why don't we start putting you back together? <clears throat> Please, if you don't mind. Can you hold on to this while we fix him? Uh, let's see. This goes... Isn't that a part of his right shoulder? Oh, yes, seems to be. I guess we should reassemble him correctly. Surely Winry's the right person to be doing this. I'm just saying, everyone else should sort of fuck off. Winry's the only one who should be doing this. We need to rearrange the pieces. What if we try connecting each occurrence of the words for gold and immortality by physically overlapping them? An immortal being. This phrase appears earlier in the notes. Huh? A true being. That overlaps here. Where did I see this? Here. Let me take a look at those other pages, Marco. Golden, that connects over here. And what about Aurelian? Oh yeah, right here. That's the last one. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, I wonder if we... Transmutation circle. Yeah. Uh, it's too late for this to help us now. Yeah. Wait, you saying what I think? Yeah, I, I don't really. 
I don't, I don't really get how that's that's helpful. Everyone already knows about that plan. Is is the cat is out of the bag? So how is seeing a, a flipping satellite imagery picture gonna help? Is like okay, yeah, there's the circle. Okay, cool. Anyone got any ideas? Nope. Okay. What well, we know is there, but we can't stop it. You mean these damn research notes are completely useless to us? No way, you can't be serious! But what about the... What's gonna happen to our families, our country? I'm sorry. <clears throat> I should have known this was nothing but an act of futility. It was naive to think someone else's research could save us. That doesn't make any sense. Come on, man. Brother, is this really all that you were trying to tell me? After all of your research... I couldn't see a way to stop this. We're missing something. <clears throat> We've only broken the first code, and I bet there's more. There's they didn't even fucking... <laughs> they just gave up. Ah, I'll put yourself back together, you son of a bitch. <laughs> there's gotta be some other message hidden in there. Also, before people are like, oh, Winry's not the one who puts together our blah, 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 it's Ed. I know, I know, I'm just saying you would think Winry would be the most qualified. That's why I said it. Uh, uh, Whoa, can't you cover your mouth, you idiot? Well, thanks for caring that I'm getting sick. I can't help the fact that I'm catching pneumonia. Who cares? Uh, you can't even tell which side of the page is right side up anymore. <laughs> Good job, moron. You blew the whole damn thing upside down. That's gotta be it! Mm -hmm. You take a bad situation and you turn it around! There's two sides! We've gotta put it back together and then flip it over! <sighs> well? You were right, Al. This is it. It's a new Amestrian transmutation circle, but it's activated through Shinghi's Alcastry instead. Right. Have they got? Have they got to build this? Or like, like a one equally the size of the other one? There's no evidence that someone's come through this way. I might have taken the wrong path after all. The footprints are still very odd in the last episode because I wasn't sure who he was following, but now we know he is following them. But even after the blizzard, the footprints were still there. I, I'm that that just seems like a bit of a mistake. So we, we can just overlook it. Guess I'll turn back. They went? I can't remember. What do we have here? Maybe. They must have been using this place to dispose of the excess rubble from the tunnel that Sloth has been digging. You must be the Crimson Alchemist. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Pride. Can I help you with something, Pride? Any new developments with Scar? I'm actually pursuing him now. Pride's Creepy little weird arms are just, just so fucking unnerving. Look at him! Look at that little damn fingers! What the hell? <laughs> Worry about him later. Ask for now. <clears throat> Go ahead and carve the crest of blood at Briggs. With all due respect, Pride, the soldiers of Briggs are much stronger and more resourceful than you might realize. It's not exactly a simple task. Then use their strength to your favor. <laughs> <laughs> Sloth is nearing completion of the tunnel, so there's little time left. Okay. So it's an urgent matter. Well, if you insist that I carve the crest of blood at Briggs, I'd be happy to oblige you. Welcome, 
welcome back to the fort, Major. Hey! Any changes to report? Oh. Nonsense. Ah, oh, man, it's not Major, it's General. Ah, oh, for some reason, I thought Olivia was... Never mind. We spoke. The situation is still normal here, but we've heard that Kembley has gone missing. You heard right. There was an explosion in one of the mine shafts. No one's heard from Kimberly or a few others since then. We did a thorough search through the rubble, but no bodies turned up. <sighs> are the other men that are missing Briggs soldiers? No. They were two of Kimberly's men. <clears throat> and the full metal alchemist. <gasps> So, Full Metal's missing. I hope he's all right. Me too. So are things any better there? Afraid not. The border war at Pendleton was a massacre. If the military was hoping for casualties, they sure as hell got them. It's just like you said. They're sending men in to be slaughtered for this transmutation circle. What's going on in the South? Have you spoken with Fury? We talked on the phone, a while back. It's just as bad down there. They're locked in combat with Arago. Literally, war is breaking out at every single border. I, I already thought they'd done like the massacres. I didn't know the war was still continuing. They must, everyone must just hate this nation because it's just like a warmongering, hungry for violence nation. And obviously, that's the whole point in what this nation was literally built on. Bloody irritating fucking nation. It's like, imagine this, like this being your neighbor. So they're building these circles. I'm curious now about the other Alka History circle, and I'm wondering if they have to build one the size of the country as well. How would they do that? Impossible, right? It would be impossible. <clears throat> it would be impossible. Uh, as a wasp. It would be 100% impossible. Unless someone's already been building it. Someone who maybe has been aloof this entire series. Someone who we've barely seen anything of. Someone who brought the knowledge of alcohestry to their nation in the first place. A golden haired someone. Could they have been building this the whole time? Have you been in touch with the Colonel? Yeah. We've been using a messenger connected to the Armstrong family. Good to hear. Just be careful with everything going on up there. I am. Well, trying to be. <coughs> Bradley's got his soldiers everywhere up here. Working around the clock to create hell on Earth. And the worst part is, there's nothing we can do. Tunnels connected. I'm all done working. Does this mean I can rest? Can I pride? Time draws near. The day of reckoning is almost within our grasp. Full Metal Alchemist. Time. Full Metal Alchemist. Time for... The sacrifices, maybe? Can't remember who they said with the sacrifice. I am think missing one more person. Wasn't that the point? They don't even have everything confirmed, right? I'd love to try your three meat pie sometime. Well, I promise to make it as soon as we get some meat. That's very forward. That guy needs to calm down. You chill. All right, you chill. Chill, bro. Too forward. <laughs> I'll try to be patient. 
Uh, pardon me. I confess I haven't been able to do any work, but would you please give just a little bit of food to these children? Well, of course I'll feed them. But you have to eat too, okay? Oh, that looks delicious. Hey, you Rose. Pilot high. You know I can't. Everyone gets the same amount. Um, excuse me, miss. <sighs> may, may I have some food, if you don't mind? That's the boy's mother, isn't it? I didn't. It didn't even take me this long to to flip in. Took me this long. Oh, thank you. You saved me, literally. Thanks so much. Where are you from, if you don't mind me asking? I'm not really from anywhere. I tend to travel mostly. Hmm. And what brings you all the way out to Lior? We don't mean to pry. We're just surprised to have a tourist. Most people tend to avoid Lior. There isn't much left here after the riots. Your cooking is a good enough reason to visit. Wait, that's not the boy's mother. Am I being an idiot? Rose. Do you remember? It wasn't Lee. It might, maybe it is, right? So there's two options. Either this is a flashback and that is the boy's mother. I apologize for not knowing the name. I'm not remembering every single damn detail. But. It's either the boy's mother, but I don't think it is. But it might be. She looks like her. Or option number two is Leora is where the riots were, like they said, after the religious stuff. And wasn't there a girl that they met in like the first, in like episode two or something like that? Episode one? That's sweet of you to say, but I don't know about that. I just wish there was more I could do to help out around here. Don't underestimate yourself. A delicious meal and the smile of a lovely young lady are more help than you can imagine. <laughs> By the way, I hate to impose any further than I already have, but can you point me towards the church? Which church? Well, I'm actually looking for the church of Leto where the riot started. Is that the girl from episode two or whatever? The one that the Elric brothers meet? The one who's like going to get uh, killed or something like that and they save her and they tell her to like look after whatever, that girl. And I, I said like, oh, I bet she comes back later on. She felt like too much of a main character. Is that the one? Is that who that is? This is what's left of it. It's been ages, nothing right? nothing left inside either. <laughs> Do you know if there's a passage that leads underground? Uh, yeah. I can show you where it is. It is, isn't it? It is her. And what's this? The water turned toxic. No one's really sure how it happened. I get the feeling that this was put here to keep people from going any further. So... Wait! Hey, what are you doing? That stuff will kill you! It's some kind of miracle. It's no miracle, but I know what it is. That's alchemy. I'm going to go a little farther in. Would you mind waiting for me? I'm impressed. They suddenly went all out making this. Oh. Found it right off the bat, didn't I? That's all I've 
Something wrong? Aren't you going to attack me? You look just like... You must be Von Hohenheim. So I'm assuming that this must be the edge of your container. You'll die if you pass it, correct? You can't survive outside of your container, can you? Huh? It's not much different than your flask, is it? I'm guessing that you can only move freely within these tunnels and Central City. Am I right? I'll take that as a yes. What's wrong? Why the silent treatment? Did I hit a nerve? Are you angry? I'm never angry. Anger does not exist within me. I have no need of such things. I left all unnecessary emotions within Father. All but one. My name is Pride. Pride the Arrogant. That makes sense. I can see your conceit. There are seven deadly sins within man. Lust. Greed. Wait, hold on. Let's just, um... <clears throat> what was the first one? I kind of missed it. The first one was... Well, hold on. Deadly sins within man. Lust. Ah, that was it. It was lust. Yeah. It was lust. Yeah. I, I completely missed that. I missed lust. Greed. Slob. Gluttony. Envy. Wrath. And of course, pride. <laughs> You're obviously the first one that he separated. Pride was his strongest trait. And the mere fact that he took the time and energy to give you his original appearance. That act alone shows how egotistical he truly is. Mm, interesting. You are the pure essence of your father. I insist that you come with me to see father. Don't try to rush me, Pride. I don't need an invitation to call on him. But you can give him a message. Tell him Slave 23 will be dropping in quite soon. Just tell him to be patient and relax in his chair beneath Central. I'm coming. I am waiting, Von Hohenheim. Yes, I am waiting for you. Hohenheim does seem to be incredibly strong. He used Alka's tree without even blinking or moving. He was just walking. He didn't need to put his hands together or anything. Something I, I definitely noticed. He was just running and everything he touched, he could just do it. He could do it without breathing. He was doing it out of his feet. There was no... None of this. Nothing. It was just, it was just like how Scar uses it almost, right? Um, crazy impressive. But then again, one thing that keeps getting overlooked is we are to presume... That it was Hohenheim who brought Alka Hestri. Um, God damn it, there's a flipping millipede in here. I uh, uh, can't wait to move house. What the fuck is that doing there? Uh, well, Scar was the one who brought Alka Hestri to uh, the uh, Shing or whatever it was called, right? So if we're presuming that, then he's going to know some pretty badass things, right? He's going to be tough. He's going to be very, very tough. Um, interesting. It's the first time we've seen him in combat. First time we've seen more than five minutes of him actually like doing something in the modern time. God damn. God damn. I have to get rid of this mini -peed. Hold on. All right, he's going back to it. Oh, here he comes. <sighs> Did you find anything? Yes, dangerous and disturbing things not meant for ordinary people. Please tell everyone to stay far away from here. What exactly were you doing in there? Hmm. Sending a declaration of war. Oh! So he was looking for pride. Okay. You're relieved. What took you so long? We've been missing. I know he pretty much said he was, but I didn't know if if I didn't know if that was his point of it. Well, anyway, 
I think some terrible coffee should warm us up. <laughs> Enjoy it. Fortunate the northern wall of Briggs has been called away. Good timing, Mr. Kimley. And on top of that, I've got a number of my top men already stationed inside the fort. They'll spring their treachery when the fighting starts. The ensuing chaos should weaken them from within. <laughs> my country has long dreamed of the day that we could breach the walls of that abomination. Fort Briggs will belong to Drachma by nightfall. Well, let's send a declaration of war. What do you say we give them a nice fireworks show for starters? All cannons, prepare to fire! Fire! That's a vicious fucking cliffhanger. That is a vicious fucking cliffhanger. Please be an after credit scene. Please be not the crazy. Come on. Come on, don't tease me like this. Don't tease me like this. Come on. Yeah, yeah, hello. There is. Okay. Oh, this is Zampano reporting in. I'm one of Kimberly's soldiers. Dr. Marco and Scar are hiding out in the slums of Asbeck Village. You made the right move by telling me this, Zampano. And I promise that you'll be protected. <laughs> Dr. Marco. Things are starting to look up. The wicked longing of a corrupt... Motherfucker. 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 Zampadu. Wait. Wait. Unless... Unless he didn't betray them? Maybe this is a trick? Maybe they know he's coming. Maybe he, he was supposed to do that. Hmm. But how did he get away? Seems a bit strange, right? And for that long to get to a phone? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe he. What? Maybe he's not. Maybe he hasn't turned. So, my biggest theory that I have at the moment is to do with um, the father. He's been gone this whole time. What the bloody hell has he been doing? He's been. He's been like wandering the lands forever. Has he just been chilling out? Like, and then he delivers alka history to the people of Shing. Um, which means we can presume that he knows everything that Scar's brother knew, which means that he would know about this transmutation circle, the one that they need to do. So in theory, he could have been building this the whole time, right? Um, he's now done a declaration of war. He has crazy alchemy skills and knows a lot. What's he been doing this whole time? What's he been doing? And he was looking for pride. He said he was actually looking for pride. He just wanted to talk to pride. Is that what he was doing? But he hasn't met pride before. What's he been doing this whole time? And Rose is the girl from episode 2, I think it was, right? Or episode 1? 2 or 1? I think 2. Or 3? One of those. Man! War is here. I can't believe we're actually going to get like a battle in Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood. It's, it's just crazy. It's nuts. Did we see anything of Ed in that one? What's Ed doing at the moment? Ed's with two other. Yes, Ed's with the two other guys. Okay, so they might be making an appearance later on. Al's back, but not... I don't know. My my guess is that guy has not betrayed them. Maybe I'm wrong and he has. I don't know. I just feel like maybe he hasn't. Especially considering they know what's happening. They know about the families. They know about all of this. I don't think he would betray them. I think it's a trap. I guess we'll find out next episode. Anyway, if you guys are enjoying these reactions, like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thank you very much for supporting me. We're on episode 42, and you guys have just been so supportive throughout this entire reaction series. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and as always, my friends, you will see me in the next video.